Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for being part of this weather community. All right. A lot of spots to watch, which is normal. We're still in the peak of the hurricane season being early October. Watching this area here near Jamaica and the Cayman Islands starting to flare up. There's more rain with that. That's going to lift into the Gulf of Mexico. I want to get into the chances of development out of that area. Then we're watching right here near Bermuda. There's a little bit of a spin. This is actually part of the remnants from Helene. Some of that moisture building back toward uh, parts of Bermuda. We get out here what's kind of left over of Joyce bringing some gusty winds to the Azores. You see a little spin off the coast of uh, uh, Newfoundland, uh, not uh, anything that is tropical in nature. And this here, probably catching your eye, that is Hurricane Kirk. Looks to become major Hurricane Kirk. That one, though, will take a curve. And then that area back behind it right there, that could become a name system as well. That one, I'm hoping, makes a curve. In early indications are it will, but it may trek a little bit more to the west. So I want to monitor that. Still kind of under the influence of what's going on with Kirk. So a few more question marks on uh, that area that is right behind Hurricane uh, Kirk. All right, let's get to that area now in the uh, Caribbean. Now in the short term, that's gonna bring some extra rain for us in the Cayman Islands, swinging up toward uh, parts of uh, Cuba. Now, the American model, the GFS, does not have this at this point becoming a tropical storm or a hurricane. The Canadian model does. The Canadian model has this uh, by this weekend into early next week becoming a hurricane, but it's been really back and forth on that. The European model, which has been what I've been leaning to in this scenario, we've been talking about that for I think about four to five Five days now, uh, the European has had a good handle on the situation. It still, it still does. Both the American and the European, I'll show you both of those, in pretty good agreement at this point. The ICON model does have this becoming a tropical storm. Point being, uh, they don't know. Those are computers, and the computers take into account uh, the millions and zillions of uh, 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 variables in the atmosphere, and they're different computers. They weigh them, uh, the importance of different variables differently, uh, and that's why uh, they're not all the uh, same. So just like a different type of computer brand, some are better than others. Now, let me get to the American model. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to exactly happen with this yet. The models aren't sure yet. The American model is very similar to the European. It does have this area of uh, kind of a broad area of low pressure. So not a name system, but some rain working its way into the Gulf of Mexico and then just slowly working its way uh, back toward the east, either near Florida or the northern Bahamas. Right now, not as a name system, but kind of one of those big sloppy rainmakers. Not a storm as of now, but occasionally I look at the models throughout the day and occasionally uh, it, it hints at it becoming a tropical storm. We'll wait and see on that, but as of right now, doesn't have it becoming a tropical storm. Same thing for the European model. As of now, uh, no storm. What this does, it has it going a little bit slower. The European model brings that moisture more back into the central sections of the Gulf of Mexico and then slowly has it sliding off toward the east as a sloppy rainmaker. Now, anytime you get a lot of rain building in the Western Caribbean and then even in the uh, Gulf of Mexico this time of year, early October with the warm water temperatures, I watch it very carefully for development. It is a different scenario than Helene though. Helene I knew was going to develop. Conditions were conducive for that and then rapid development. This one I'm not quite sure because there's a lot more variables in play which we'll get into. Now let me show you some of the modeling on this. Here's the American model. Here we are in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Belize, uh, Mexico, Honduras, Nicaragua, Guatemala, El Salvador, still a lot of rain. Southern Mexico, we have a tropical depression out here. Once again, where John was, a ton of rain. Thinking of you in Southern Mexico, dealing with that. Uh, elsewhere, Eastern Caribbean, we're looking at a hit or miss shower storm, even a little dust that's been uh, up there in the uh, atmosphere. Now, this is tomorrow. Tomorrow, still some of that rain near the Cayman Islands, not all day stuff, but we're going to see the increased rain today, tomorrow, and then into Friday, some of that moisture starts to lift to the north right there. A lot Lot of rain here, southern Mexico, back toward Guatemala near El Salvador, watching out for the prospects of some flooding. And here's some of that steadier rain working its way into the Gulf. That catching your eye over there, that is Kirk. I'll expand out the very wide view in a moment, but let's let's stay with Friday. So this is Friday. The moisture near the Cayman Islands in western Cuba lifts into the Gulf of Mexico. Now 
The American model isn't sure if it wants to really develop this, but point being, there is a ton of rain, a big moisture surge from Mexico, Bay of Campeche, all the way through the Gulf of Mexico. This here is on Saturday. You see on Saturday, a lot of rain building, but nothing really spinning, but occasionally, as I mentioned, the American model hints at something trying to form at least briefly in the Eastern Caribbean right there. At the least, it would be some increased rain driving off to the east toward parts of Cuba, uh, the uh, uh, over toward uh, parts of the northern Bahamas and Florida on Sunday. We'll see if it develops. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and then you can see a lot of rain still in this same pocket on Monday. So this may be an area we're watching for days and days to just simply see if it does spin up. And then some extra rain sneaking in here, Trinidad and Tobago early next week, not organized though. And then you still see here on Tuesday, just a ton of rain around in some locations, some of the same spots. There could be a spin up right here, maybe a little development over here. Let's let's monitor this over the next uh, couple of days. I was very confident in the forecast with Helene. This one, uh, not so much. Now, here's the European model. Very similar scenario. So here's Jamaica. Here's that spin, by the way, up toward Bermuda. There's Bermuda. But here's some of the extra rain around today, according to the, uh, the European model. There's the uh, kind of broad spin, not tropical in nature, but watching that near Bermuda. Uh, making the seas a little bit choppier. So let's go out in time here, uh, bring in, you see this uh, green here, Cayman Islands right here. Uh, here's Western Cuba. And as let me jump ahead a few days. This is as we work our way into Friday. By Friday, just showing that sloppy mess, a lot of rain here in the Gulf of Mexico. So not showing any quick development. So a couple days from now, just that surge of moisture, we're gonna see building back toward the Gulf of Mexico. Now, as we move forward, uh, we're gonna see this moisture kind of hint at driving off toward the uh, east. There's that uh, spin out there. Now let's go into the upcoming weekend with the European model. I'll show you how it kind of compares to the American model. It does show a little area of low pressure here, kind of hints at something trying to gather, something trying to organize somewhat. This is by later on Sunday, a lot of rain, especially in the Eastern Gulf of Mexico. Like the American model, the European model, hints at some development. Yeah, maybe a tropical storm does spin up. That wouldn't be a surprise to any of us, something in the Gulf of Mexico in the heart of hurricane season with a lot of rain around, uh, but just not showing a whole lot of that now. This is on Sunday. And then as we work our way into next week, still a ton of rain in some of the same spots. So uh, the European model though, it does eventually as we get deeper into next week, this would be a week from now, does try to drive some of the rain a little bit more off toward the Atlantic side. You see that spot right there, but still a lot of left over moisture here. So this is just a hot spot for development. It's hard to tell where something will develop, uh, if it will develop, but in through this region here, that is a hot spot for development for at least over the next week. Uh, very active uh, pattern around. Now I mentioned it's hard to tell if something will form because uh, with uh, Helene, for example, warm water temperatures and the wind shear, there wasn't a whole lot. Here, this is on Sunday. This is the American model showing a spin trying to develop somewhat in the eastern sections of the Gulf of Mexico. But this red shading here, that's a lot of wind shear. That's good because that knocks the tops of the thunderstorms off. Um, a lot of turbulence up there. That's good. So the showers and storms can't build nicely. And that's why it may prevent development or at least it would be some slow development. But yeah, something could develop over here, but clearly uh, we are watching it together. Now, the very wide picture, here we are in uh, Eastern Canada. Here's Bermuda watching that spin there. There is Kirk and there's that second area back behind it, which I do believe will develop. Um, not quite, now it should make a curve eventually, uh, but just because Kirk is there, sometimes that kind of throws things off a bit. You have something so nearby. Now storms don't combine, these aren't going to combine. Storms don't necessarily combine. Sometimes you could have a stronger storm absorb a weaker storm. It doesn't make it a mega storm or anything like that, but Kirk's gonna make its way up here safely to the east of Bermuda. Here's uh, Nova Scotia, get back toward Newfoundland. And then you see here, this is next week on Monday, there it is. That is uh, the next uh, hurricane, it looks to be. Uh, could be a major hurricane, too, in the Atlantic. Now, the early indications are, and most of the models are showing this, a curve very similar to what we saw with Joyce and what we're seeing now with Kirk. But let me just wait and see a day or two while it is well out there. If Kirk were to slow or something like that, or if this area were to be slow to develop, it may track a little bit more 
to the west than what the models are showing. So just give me a day or so to uh, uh, keep tabs on that, and then we'll be able to fine tune if that's going to make a curve or not. But here is Kirk, should become a major hurricane by this weekend, well off to the east of Bermuda. Those swells will be working in, but well to the east of Bermuda by the time we get into the upcoming weekend. So we are rolling down the list of names at this point. Kirk is out there now. The next name on the list is Leslie. It may be the area near Kirk. Maybe it's a spin up in the Gulf of Mexico. Milton after that, and then uh, Nadine. Now there's a separate set of names uh, back in the Eastern Pacific. That's why uh, at one time there's two J names, John and Joyce. John is the J name in the Eastern Pacific. Now the seas are going to build some, of course, a little bit choppier in the uh, Gulf of Mexico with some of the rain now. Seas are going to build here, but the Atlantic waters getting very dangerous with Kirk out there just generating those swells and then the area behind Kirk also generating more swells. You can see how everything is going to be building. This is getting into the weekend. This is meters. This is feet. This is on Saturday. Choppier and uh, to rough in the eastern Gulf of Mexico at this point as something tries to develop a little bit, but you can see those swells really building and all the seas building uh, with powerful major hurricane Kirk off to the east of Bermuda by this weekend. This here is the outlook on Sunday. Now getting up to that, watching Bermuda here, watching this spin, some of those remnants, uh, the leftovers of Helene still kind of around in the atmosphere, a lot of moisture in through here, watching that little spin off of uh, St. John's there, and we have that front rolling through uh, Quebec. This here is by tomorrow afternoon. Still this spin here, and then here comes Kirk on your screen, breaking it out into uh, Friday, and then eventually the uh, weekend. You can see Bermuda here and Kirk a good uh, ways away from uh, Bermuda. Thankfully, I just hope that system back behind it does make the curve. Now, I say that, I say thankfully, but we're always thinking of uh, others and our friends up toward uh, parts of uh, Europe where we could see some big wind makers depending on the eventual track of Kirk and the eventual track of the area back behind it. So again, you get these uh, rolling up into the North Atlantic as big wind makers. There's the rain near the Cayman Islands. Now, Jamaica, we're going to have a few scattered showers and storm. Some of us some sun this morning. Uh, western end, we've had some rain in some spots. Uh, Cayman Islands, more toward uh, Grand Cayman, the chance of some higher totals. So let me let me zoom in a little bit here. Here's Jamaica. The next couple days, 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain. If you get a couple showers and storms scattered about, not diminishing that, but there'll be a few scattered showers and storms. So just as we get to the Cayman Islands, that's where we could have more. See some of the deeper purple showing up. 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain could be even higher just depending on how this moisture builds. Keep me posted in the comments uh, from the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and Western Cuba. You see Western Cuba, rain chance will be higher, so we could get some higher totals. Not as much Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, U.S. British Virgin Islands, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Saba, a passing shower, St. Kitts and Nevis, and we swing from Dominica south through Martinique over toward uh, St. Lucia, hit or miss shower. Trinidad, we may have a couple more. Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, passing variety, and a little more it's picked up some in Guyana, even a couple showers as we work our way to Suriname, hit or miss in Venezuela, still in parts of Colombia, especially uh, southern or at least central sections, better chance of rain. But here are those higher totals, and you see them in here, uh, parts of Nicaragua, Nicaragua uh, near Guatemala, some of these blacks showing up, that would be 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain, and where some of these reds are showing up, that would be over 200 millimeters of rain or eight to nine inches of some rain for three day totals, watching the rivers, watching the mudslide potential. Mexico City, the rain chance has gone down, watching out for the chance of some rain feeding into the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. So staying unsettled, 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms in Jamaica. A higher chance though in the Cayman Islands with the rain building in the Western uh, Caribbean. Isolated shower storm, Trinidad and Tobago, we're looking at a 30% chance over the next uh, couple of days. 50% chance in Barbados, a 30% chance tomorrow in St. Lucia, a 40% chance by the end of the week, by the time we get into Friday. Grenada could get a couple showers passing by today. Same thing, same fits the Grenadines, looking at a 40 to 50% chance of rain over the next three days. We work our way into Martinique, rain chance about 40%. And it does go down some in Dominica. The rain chance is not too high, not too high as well in Guadeloupe. It would be an isolated and passing shower. 20 to 30% chance Antigua and Barbuda, 20 to 30% chance St. Kitts and Nevis 
in Montserrat. Rain chance 20 to 30 percent in Guilla and St. Bart. So northeastern Caribbean, not a lot of action. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Rain chance by tomorrow pick up a little bit in Puerto Rico. We could see a few scattered thunderstorms and we could get a couple passing ones, especially tomorrow, parts of the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 20 to 30 percent chance across the Bahamas. 20 to 30 percent chance the next two days. Turks and Caicos isolated the next couple days the Dominican Republic and we are hot and mainly dry as we get into Haiti. Rain chance 40 to 50 percent scattered in Belize. We've had a couple showers around the last uh, few days. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Rain chance has gone down some, not that it was ever super high, right? But about a 20 percent chance of a shower. And then as we work our way to Guyana, the rain chance does build some by the end of the week and it even picks up a touch 40 percent chance in Suriname by Friday. Now Cuba with this moisture lifting in, especially by the time we get into Friday, western end, that's where we'll see a better chance of some of the rain. Costa Rica, about a 70% chance uh, tomorrow and Friday, about a 60% chance in Panama. Nicaragua, highest chance in our western sections, 40 to 50% chance in Honduras. Rain chance about 60% the next two days in Guatemala. If you get it, it is going to be heavy in some locations. Mexico City, that rain chance, as I mentioned earlier, has gone down. Yucatan, it does start to creep up with that moisture in the western Caribbean. 40 to 50 percent chance into uh, northern Colombia and an isolated chance 20 to 30 percent chance across northern Venezuela and watching that spin around near Bermuda we'll see how much moisture that tries to spin down so the rain building in the Western Caribbean lifting into the Gulf of Mexico over the next few days development remains possible in that exactly where I'm not exactly sure yet uh, but uh, I'll be dissecting everything in the environment the next few days and then tracking those systems in the Atlantic the spin near Bermuda and then a Hurricane Kirk out there and what's trying to develop it back behind that. So thank you for spreading the word about this channel and being part of this weather community. I hope you have a good rest of your day.